Hey, welcome to part two of the antenna. So uh, this is, of course, right now the way that things are coming inside. There'll be better than that because I will isolate a little more the window for the winter. But so the wires are here. Uh, of course, one of the things you could use. Uh, I got sliding windows like these. Uh, there are some flat coax that you can actually purchase that fit through these types of windows. So if you have that type of window, you can actually purchase that to have a pass through of the antenna wires. You, uh, that of course will make it better. Of course, if you have your home and you can do a little, drill a little hole somewhere, you can pass the wires through the wall. Um, and of course, all of that goes into uh, right now my switch box, so which is here. So this is where everything is plugged in and it's plugged in uh, with adapters to make sure that they are adapted to the uh, entry and the connectors of the uh, antenna. And of course in here I've got the switch. One is the MLA30, two is the uh, W6LVP. Except when I do a switch. So uh, what I did right now is I actually did a switch on this. I'm sorry if I move a lot. So this is the uh, MLA30's power inserter. This is where the antenna comes to the receiver. So the receiver, uh, you see here, uh, it says receiver. So what I do and what I did actually is uh, I unscrew it from time to time because I also have a second way of connecting. And the second way goes here and goes to these audio cables that can actually interface with the antenna input of the radios, the portable receivers. So when I want to use portable receivers, I just unscrew one of uh, the MLA30 from the uh, power inserter box, and I unscrew the um, SMA connector for these um, radios that I have. So I've, of course, uh, interfaced this coax cable with the auto cable in a very basic way, but it works, and that's the important thing. Of course, the best way would be to do it with a connector directly to the coax. But it works fine in the way that I did it, and I'm kind of happy that it actually is pretty good. So that's for that. Of course, for the rest, the connectors go to the different receivers uh, that I actually use. Um, in, in my case, the receivers that I use are over there. And uh, one of them is, that you don't see it very well, but I got the icon that you see here. And the, uh, S the RSP1A, the SDR play radio, is right there. So uh, that one is, of course, uh, plugged into uh, the uh, antenna box that you see here. So that's pretty much the way that it's interfaced indoors. Uh, and, of course, if you don't have a switch box and you have only one receiver, well, you'll have only one cable. And you'll just need to have the proper adapter to connect it to your receiver. And that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope that uh, this kind of explains a little bit how it goes in, but one of the important parts of um, having antenna, outdoor antennas bring the signal in is really to use coaxial cables with good shielding that prevents the interference from your indoor devices. We got a lot of devices that actually create noise on um, like, you know, computers, routers, and so on. So make sure that you have the proper uh, connectors and uh, that it comes in with a coax cable to make sure that it shields the most that you can of the interference. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look at uh, what is the uh, antenna connections outdoors and indoors on how I set up. And uh, this is my setup. You can set it up, uh, of course, properly in your own way if you wish. And uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.